Hi everyone, Joe for jazbeescasebreaks.com coming at you with 2022 Tops Tier 1 Baseball 12 box. Pick your team, number 22. A um, lot of great stuff in here. We were just talking off camera just about how this year's Tier 1 it seems to be a notch or two above what we've seen in recent years. It's always been a solid product, but some pretty nice stuff. So thanks everyone for making it happen. There's the case right here. Big thanks to everyone who bought their team straight up. I appreciate that. We do have another case loaded up right now if you want to run it back tonight on a Monday. So thanks, everybody. Barry ended up with that last spot mojo star next to his name before we pulled the remaining teams out for um, that random number block, the RNB, which we did in a separate video. Oh, which I need to upload. Sorry. If you're re-watching this, you can fast forward maybe 10 seconds. There's a hot key for it. Figure, I think it's J or K or something like that. If you're watching live, you're stuck with me. Let's forget to upload that part. I don't have to monetize it. All right, so anyway, big thanks to uh, this group for filling up the random number block. Here's the results right there. So it's a serial number break just for, just for those teams. So let's set this. Right over here. And let's pop open this case. Rex, what's going on? How are you? All right, there it is, 2022, two autographs and one relic card on average. Sometimes we've seen an extra auto. Sometimes we've seen an extra relic. It all, all just depends. There's a blank card right here, which will slow play the hits a little bit. Where's the where's our card with the Jaspi sticker on it? That's that's good branding, but maybe it's not around. <clears throat> I'll put that on there later. All right. First is Ken Griffey Jr. One seventeen out of one ninety nine. Game used jersey, going to the Seattle number block group. So that'll go, so if you're not familiar, we go by that digit right there. So it's 117 out of 199, so that'll go to Seattle 7, which is gonna be for Ryan. And these two should be your autos. Nice, Trevor Rogers, 283 out of 299 for the fish. That's gonna be for Tyler and the Marlins. Uh, you shouldn't be, Rex. A lot of times they, they go to different hubs before they end up into your area. So you really should ignore those step-by-step -step transactions. Sometimes they'll go to a different hub and then they'll get routed to the correct place. 11 out of 25, Fergie Jenkins, gold ink autograph. Cubbies, Kevin, bought the Cubs straight up. I don't know if this still happens anymore, but back in the day, if I were to overnight something from LA to say across town, you know, maybe a couple hours east, all the next day air packages will still go to a hub in like Memphis if I FedExed it, and then it will still comes back from there. So a lot of times people will freak out and be like, why is it going to Memphis? It's like, that's just the way it goes in like different hubs, different times. 259 out of 299, Vlad Guerrero Jr. That'll be for Alora. 
and the Toronto Blue Jays. This should be another relic. Oh, this is an auto relic. Eight out of 25, dual relic and autograph, Adrian Beltre. Jason picked up the Rangers straight up. Nice. And the other auto is Joey Wendell. 191 out of 299. Tampa Bay Rays. Tampa Bay is a number block team. So that will go to Tampa Bay 1. And that's for Terry. All right, next box. Joey Votto, Votto Matic. 27 out of 399. Piece of his jersey going to Jonathan Kent, JK, and the Red Legs. Steve Locke, what's going on? How are you? I did see that. I actually just saw that on MLB Network about 30 minutes ago. Yeah, they want the, they want to they want they're going to release Jason Hayward at the end of the season. And, you know, be able to start playing the young kids. Give the young kids some opportunities. 183 out of 299, Yasmani Grandal. White Sox, Nestor, the Southsiders. And then we got Griffin Jacks. 257 out of 299. That is a twin. That's going to be for Howard. There you go, Howard. Howard and the twins. Yeah, you know, tier one could definitely, definitely has big hit opportunities. Let's see what we got. We have Justin Verlander, 327 out of 399. Nestor with the Astros. We got Tori Hunter, Angels Edition, 289 out of 399. That's Simon with the Halos. Does that mean. I'm pretty sure. Rex, that uh, in baseball, all contracts are fully guaranteed. It's not like football. So, yeah, Crushing Weekends is agreeing with me here. Yeah, they, they still have to pay him. Aaron Ashby, 58 out of 299. I think he signed an extension recently. That goes to Eric and the Brew Crew. And Votto Manic, a Votto Auto. 20 out of 100, tier one talent autograph. Jonathan with the red legs. I mean, the the Cubs, the Cubs sort of uh, trade deadline was pretty odd. Like I feel like I, I feel like they could have got some great prospects for Wilson Contreras. 
And if they were going to release Jason Hayward anyway, why not try to get something back from him on the trade market and eat salary? Otherwise, they're just eating salary. I mean, I don't know. It just doesn't really make sense. Six out of 25, Steven Strasburg. I mean, I would, I would have even traded him if you're going to eat the money anyway. Um, this will go to a number block team. So Nationals 6. That'll be for Michael L. We've got a silver ink autograph, Fran Mill Reyes. Nice low number. 5 out of 10. Cleveland, this is for you. Cleveland's a number block team. Cleveland 5. Jack. Jack T. Yeah, it was a pretty bad deal, crushing weekends. But like, if you're gonna eat the money anyway, why not try to get, why not try to move Jason Hayward for a bucket of baseballs or something like that? At least get something back. Nice Dylan Carlson, 90 out of 199. And that's for Howard and the Cardinals. There you go, Howard. Good penmanship, too. Fran Mill Reyes, now a Cub, Ben Singh. Fran Mill Reyes just DFA today, says Jonathan. Oh, he got DFA'd and picked up by the Cubs? Is that what happened? DFA'd by Cleveland and picked up by the Cubs? They may have tried to trade Jason Hayward, no bites. But I don't think they tried hard enough. I would have taken a bucket of baseballs. And then try to eat money. Eat the money. I don't know. There's Juan Soto. Is he up to bat? Did he just pop out? No, Soto's on base. He's on first. Juan Soto Nationals edition here. And that is 192 out of 249. So Nats 2, that is for Barry. Tier 1 talent, Cecil Fielder, 114 out of 299. Nice. That's a ni this is nice, like, in shape, Cecil Fielder. Look at that. That'll be for uh, Barry and the Tigers. Last spot mojo. 70% of the time, hits 100% of the time. Wander Franco. Nice rookie, silver ink auto, 4 out of 10. Nobody bought the raise straight up. It went into a random number block. Wow. That's a strong hit right here. Nice low number. Rookie, silver ink, some good penmanship right here. Raise four is four. Ben, there you go, Ben. Nice. Let's go, says Ben. That is strong. That's real nice. If I were some of the other guys, I'd be like tearing off my shirt and hitting my bicep and, and yelling at the top of my lungs. But that sounds exhausting to me. But congrats, Ben. All right. There's Brandon Belt, 372 out of 399. Some of my, I have friends and, and family, believe it or not, who are Giants fans. He's, they always point out that he's kind of got kind of a long neck. So take that information for what you will. I think some people call him uh, Jeffrey, like the giraffe in uh, the Toys R Us giraffe. Generational thing. Some of you kids are like, what? Toys R Us. Although I think they're making a comeback. Uh, 55 out of 399, old Derek Lee. Marlins edition. That's going to go to Tyler. Right, Giraffe. Oliver Siege. Oliver knows. Oliver gets it. Couple autos. Gavin Lux. He's been hitting the ball real well lately. 150 out of 199. 
turning out to be, I think, turning out to be the prospect, the highly touted prospect that they thought they were, that he was going to be. Still has some upside there too. Yeah, Mike Glennon definitely had a long neck, that's for sure. Uh, who's got my Do oh, Dodgers are a number block team. So that goes to Dodgers 0, 150 out of 199. So Dodgers 0 is Ariano. And Ozzy Albies, 197 out of 199. Tier 1 talent autograph. That's for the ATL. That's also another number block team. And the number block's doing really well here. It's a little tight here, but it is secure. So the Braves, that is 197 out of 199. Braves 7 is going to be for Ryan. Yeah, so apparently Toys R Us are going to be an all Macy's store by the end of August? How many Macy's stores are still out there? Macy's still a thing? There's Mariano Rivera, 189 out of 249. Just good solid fist pump right there. Yankees, that's going to be for Randy. Picked up the Yankees straight up. There's still 509 Macy's that are out there. Justin has them in North Carolina. When's the last time anybody's been to a Macy's? One ninety four out of one ninety nine, Adalas Garcia, Rangers. That's to be for Jason. I think we just lost that uh, that Macy sponsorship. Oliver, you went to one two days ago. Okay, so what what did you do at this department store? What were you? You know what? The last time I went to a Macy's was, uh, oh, John Smoltz is uh, Braves edition. Braves are number block team. Braves five, Jack. Well, I mean, why, why go to a Macy's, Justin, when you have Saks Fifth Avenue, when you have Neiman's, when you have Barney's? when you have so many local clothing stores that you can go to. Why go to a, why go to a department store like that? You got Ozzy Smith, the wizard, Cardinals edition. Used to be a Padre, I think. Started off with a Padre, right? 181 out of 199. I think most people remember him as a, as a Cardinal. They have a finish line at Macy, so you look there, you go there for Dodger gear, I see. Cardinals, Howard with the Wizard. Another one for Howard. Paul DeYoung, 148 out of 299. Good penmanship there as well. They used to have a ticket master in Macy's? Which, which Macy's did you go to, Oliver? The one in uh, Manhattan Beach? I think the last time I went to a Macy's was to, was to get a suit, I think, for a wedding. And I bought one there and I picked it up there. I, didn't, I think maybe that's the last time I went. 92 out of 299? Mmm. Burgers. Oh, Delamo Mall in Torrance. It's a ding for the burgers. Nestor with the White Sox. Terry's memory saying, remember when there was a Ticketmaster in Broadway? Man, that's a blast from the past, right? Broadway, um, 
department stores. They're selling football tickets at Costco now. Ben saying Paul DeYoung, Illinois State alumni. The trivia. The trivia. Yeah, Macy's is like this. Macy's like a food court now, says Jonathan. Yeah, so many other options. Yeah, I'm um, Rex. I'm sure it was a national thing. I don't. I don't think it was just. It was just for the Macy's in Indiana. There's Kettle Marte, three sixteen out of three ninety nine. That's for Eddie and the Diamondbacks. Alex Kirloff, 24 out of 299. Twins, Howard with the Twinkies. Kyle Lewis, 184 out of 199. Oh, he's battling some injuries there. That is for... That's a Mariners are a number block team. So that'll go to Seattle four. And that's for Ben. There you go, Ben. And we've got another Mariner. Different number, though. King Felix, 51 out of 100. Terry, Seattle one. Remember how good this guy was? Yeah, the number block is killing in this break. Get your team straight up, ladies and gentlemen. Jaspiescasebreaks.com. Seattle would have had a nice break if someone got him straight up. Two boxes to go. Mike Tower, what's up? Downtown Chicago Macy's is a nice food court. Restaurants. By Rick Bayless's and Marcus Samuelson. Isn't Licorice Pizza a movie, Terry? I haven't seen that. On my on my plane ride back from uh, back from uh, the National and my Cooperstown trip, uh, I was sitting next to a girl who was watching Licorice Pizza on her laptop, and I had to like try not to. I didn't want to get spoiled. I hear it's a good movie. Laser Show, Dustin Pedroia, one seventy seven out of three forty nine. Look up that press conference, Ray. What's going on? Uh, Chris Walker with the Red Sox. TJ Friedel, 87 out of 299. Jonathan with the Red Legs. And we got Jim Tomei, White Sox edition, 1999. Prince. That's going to be Nestor. And the Southsiders. Final box. Good luck, everybody. Like I said, we got another case in the store. No filler yet. So if you want to get your team straight up, please do so. A lot of nice stuff popping out of this tier one. Although I don't think we've... Have we seen a cut auto out of here? Maybe Jason pulled one or the personal breaks maybe have pulled a cut auto. I personally have not seen a cut auto out of here. Or if there was, I, I don't remember it. 12 out of 399, Lorenzo Kane. Raisin Kane, that goes to Eric and the Brew Crew. Uh, I have not been to other halls of fame, Mike Tower, so I, I can't really compare. Uh, I believe the national is going to be in um, in Cleveland in 2024, so I may have to go to Canton. That might be that might be my little post national trip. 178 out of 299, taking it to the max. Max Kepler for Howard. Ooh, Jason pulled a Frank Robinson cut out. Okay, that's pretty nice. 
I want to say Frank Robinson, correct me if I'm wrong, is the only dude that has won an MVP in the AL and the NL. And the last hit is Hideki Matsui, 7 out of 10. That is going to go to Randy and the Bronx Bombers. Seven out of ten for Randy. And there you go, ladies and gentlemen. A case of 2022 Tops Tier 1 Baseball in the books. I'm Joe for jazbeescasebreaks.com. I'll see you next time for the night. Do I have to do anything after this break? I have a feeling no, no randomize or anything. No, nice clean break, start to finish. I'll see you next time for the next one. Bye-bye.